Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel, Dare to Nerd, where today I'm reacting to the fifth chapter of Volume 9 of Ruby. Still not entirely clear if the caterpillar let himself out, like opened up the hole in the ground and let himself fall through, or if the cat did that, or if the, like, the world did that, the powers that be. That was very sudden, and one of my first thoughts was like, did he just die? You know, so I'm, I'm hoping we get some clarification on what that's about. Also, Yang, Weiss, and Blake are all still minuscule, because <laughs> they, they didn't get the Grogurt Parfait from the Caterpillar, so I'm assuming the cat's gonna make it? So on that note, let's get into chapter five of Ruby, the Parfait Predicament. Wow, 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 wow. All right, let's see if I can sing this. Because I should know the lyrics by now. See if my throat will hold up. I've been having serious allergy problems recently, so. Mm. Sinking down into depths of nowhere, I am undone. Clasping tight onto memories, I know they'll be overrun. You must live with balance, but balance is blind. The chances are tied in a fairy tale she'll find inside a new me. I'm ready, but who will I find? Yeah, I can't go that high. <laughs> God. <coughs> I have been having a lot of drainage lately, so. <laughs> Alright, Alex, I'm liking you less and less, girl. The more I learn, the less I like. Man, I do like this place, though. These to I want my yard to look like this. Seriously. Someday, someday, these mushrooms right here going up the tree, the glow in the dark, I'll do that. One of these days, I'll get around to making them. Okay, what are we running from? Where's the cat? Did the cat take off? I'm so glad the four of you no. are still okay. the four of you. Not <laughs> always the case in the ever after. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because the king became the prince? Yeah, the caterpillar himself isn't the one necessarily that changes people. You have to choose it. Ruby was about to, though. That's the scary part. You're the one who ditched us in the first place. <laughs> Which, by the way, was how we ended up in that mushroom house to begin with. Well, you weren't supposed to talk you to know, anybody. He told you. the delirious caterpillar guy tried to drug us and then was swallowed up by a freaking <laughs> hole in the ground? Ah, yes, yes. Alex had a similar reaction the first time she saw someone return to the Ever After. What? That's not how it seems. Is it? Well, I suppose it is. Okay. But not the way you think. If you think like Alex. Which it seems like you do. Oh my gosh, this cat speaks in riddles so much. He is dancing around the question. Okay. Return to the Ever After. So they're not in the Ever After? I thought that's what this world was called. So is the Ever After like the tree? Maybe? Cat, you are no help. Aha. We're here. Where are we? Was that not the garden that they were supposed to go to? With the caterpillar? Where are we? Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, that's so beautiful! It's a giant lily! 
Look at those lights. That is so cool, spiraling up like that. It's like a pagoda. Almost. A little bit. Better run. Oh yeah, the ferry's leaving. <laughs> Don't miss the ferry. So, Cat, going to explain to us how a giant caterpillar disappearing into a hole isn't how it seems? Yes, explain, please. When we break or wear out or simply finish what we were made to do, we're called back. But Herb, his heart was too weak to listen. So I gave him a little bit of mine. Oh! Alright, let me, let me process this. Hold up. Hold on. So, okay, yeah. Once again, this is kind of feeding into my theory that there's like a god of some sort that's kind of running things. So when you, when you break or are done doing what you're were made made to do but when you're done with that you are called back okay but his heart was too weak to listen so is it like an instinct if you're you know you're called back you have to to answer the call you have to go somewhere but if you don't like listen then and you don't go then you kind of become messed up like the caterpillar was a little lost and so the cat gave a piece of his heart so he could go back to the Ever After. Okay, interesting. Is he dead? That's my question. <laughs> no, no. Well, maybe a little bit. But not at all. Ugh, what <laughs> is it? Ahem. <clears throat> now that Herb's properly returned, he'll be fixed up nice and made into the Herb he wanted to be when he was still Herb. Uh -huh. Then he'll come back and find his purpose. Could be the same as before, or maybe not. Huh. When Herb comes back, will he remember anything? <laughs> what would be the point of that? So that's I get, that's why the prince didn't remember being the Red King. You know, it's like your old self has to die for your new self to be born. Okay. All right, and he'll be remade into the version of himself that he wanted to be and then find his purpose. Okay, so they all kind of go through this process, I'm assuming, of being made into the the version that you want to be and then finding out kind of what your job is. Interesting. Mm, oh, Alex, you lot. Big stretch. I know, I know where you're from. Things will die. <laughs> We're just not like you at all. Hi. A sen. Herb will have a purpose again. Huh. That's impossible. Things have to die someday. Right? Well, goodness, no. Though I suppose if there the world is isn't a creature made to what? No, no, that's not the sort of thing you talk about in polite company. Ah, you mean the Jabberwalker? He said there is a creature that maybe dies. I guess. And because the Jabberwalker was bleeding. The Jabberwalker can actually bleed. We haven't seen any of these other creatures actually bleed, really. So I'm wondering, is the Jabberwalker even, like, of this world? Because it is very different from all the characters that we're seeing. It just has a completely different vibe. Yeah. Get your Wait. Hot the fresh so right out what happened to Herb? Is that what happened to the king? Come on, try our mud cookies! Mud cookies! Oh, it was all very sad. The Red King couldn't cope when he lost to Alex. A crying ah. mess. Thankfully, he was called back and fixed up. And now he's the prince you met. Aha! The prince was worse. The prince yeah. isn't supposed to be nice. He's meant to play the game and win. Uh-huh. No, no. At any cost. So okay. that's why he cheats when the Red King didn't. Oh. But that still doesn't explain why the Red Prince was so much meaner. While the Prince may not remember Alex's deception after ascending, the heart very rarely forgets. Okay. Even though he doesn't remember being the king, a part of him deep down remembers that pain that Alex caused. And that's why he's so nasty and mean now. I'm loving the background music, the soundtrack. It has that kind of medieval marketplace sound. But I mean, I guess that they're in a marketplace. In the story. Of 
course not! Exposition! What is this holdup? Trying to see the backgrounds a little bit more. There was nothing about Ascension in the story. <laughs> what is this chicken? <laughs> the grinning chicken. That is just all teeth. Eh? <laughs> of course not! Exposition is terribly boring. Even this conversation was, on the whole, rather tedious. <laughs> is that why he speaks in riddles? I wonder what else Alex left out. A lot. Well, to make a Grogut That's what I'm betting. One needs a bushel of grumpy ivy, one good size spicy potato, the lint off a griffin's sweater. A griffin sweater! Dragons and more should have that, which is right I really hope we meet a griffin. Remember all of that? <laughs> I can procure those. But there's another ingredient we must have that's only available on the third level. Some nose hair from a leprechaun. <laughs> what if you <laughs> they gotta drink that <laughs> there are leprechauns in this world leave that while i go get the rest uh, sure I, I guess so uh -huh. wonderful look for the teapot lady she'll have it now off you go the teapot lady Ooh. <gasps> Yoo oh no he's gonna be so distracted Ooh. Oh, it's a cat I toy. Go with the cat so they don't get distracted by a shiny doorknob and never come back. <laughs> I'll go with you. Get me as far away as possible from any nose hairs, please. I'll go with you, Ruby. Okay, good. Someone go with Ruby. <laughs> nice try, kitty. <laughs> We're coming along. <laughs> He's like, I'm a vehicle now. Oh, what are these creatures? Like, what about you? Oh. <laughs> Nick the cheese. <laughs> okay, so I guess Little's rules apply here too. It's not stealing if you're not looking at it. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Poor little forward. little critter. And forward. <sighs> oh, there she goes. <laughs> <laughs> I swear this mouse has narcolepsy. So can we find some coffee for this mouse? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at this two. These are the two from the toy village. The guard and the little toy lady. Yeah, they're on a little date, a little market stroll. That's nice. Oh shoot! Oh, what's with the creepy music slowing down and the lights going out? What's happening? <gasps> oh, and everyone's gone. Okay, this is, this is gonna be the blacksmith, right? Because I can hear her. What? <gasps> the sword! I knew we were gonna see it again. That's Penny's Does sword. That interest you? Who are you? The robot! I thought this was lost forever. How do you have it? Nothing. No one is ever truly lost. This voice sounds familiar. I'll have to look up the voice actress after. <gasps> oh, and it's Penny! Are you? are you lost? Oh, it's the butterfly no, wings! No, I, I just. My friend. I'm guessing for the caterpillar. to be here. Oh, no, probably not. Are you her guide, little one? Yes. Ruby is my friend, and I want to help her get home. Oh. Even though I don't know where that is or how to get there. No, oh, little. He's hmm. trying so hard. Wow. You seem to be carrying a rather large burden with you. Love that axe I'm in fine. the background. I can handle it. It's a very specific design. If okay, is it going to become specific, uh, significant? One of these you like has set your burden down. Oh, is she going to get a new weapon? Whoa, okay, it's a da ha! It's Alex, it looks like. Okay, so did that happen to Alex? She was carrying a burden and ran into this person and, like, set the burden down and got a weapon? The dagger? Oh, there's a lot to unpack here. Hold on. So I'm guessing this blacksmith-like person has 
some part to play in the ascension of different characters because she's making butterfly wings that I'm assuming is for the caterpillar, his transformation and metamorphosis. So this person kind of helps with that process. And once again, someone is encouraging Ruby to change in some way to address the burdens that she's carrying. The blacksmith mentioned like you are all doing this all alone and you're carrying a heavy burden. It's because she's just she's carrying all of this weight by herself and not letting herself really rely on everyone else. And I guess part of that burden was Penny's loss. She blames herself for, you know, not being able to save Penny. And that's why we saw her carrying the sword. She is, she's actually, you know, carrying that burden. Wow. I already have a weapon. I did. And yet, here you are, searching for something else that you do not even know. Oh, yet yeah, the axe. Is the axe going to be your new weapon? Oh, whoa. Okay. Is that her? So is she going to get a new weapon? What if Crescent Rose does kind of represent Ruby's old self? And it also is kind of like represents a lot of the weight that she's carrying. The feeling that, you know, she has to save the world. She has to protect everyone. She has to be there for everybody. And that's why she needs to, like, leave it behind. That's why it's left on the beach. But Crescent Rose, that scythe weapon, is such an iconic part of her design. She made it herself. It's a part of her. So I don't know how they would introduce like a new design weapon design that fits Ruby that well and fits also seamlessly into the narrative. That's going to be... It's an interesting challenge. I don't even know if they're going to go that direction, but that's what they're suggesting. Ruby? Ruby? Oh. Who are you talking to? Oh, shit. Did she was see? just having a full-on vision. She wasn't even... Okay. The nose hair. Come on, try our blood cookies. They're delicious. Uh, wow. No, not, not just yet, but Ruby, come on. We got everything else. I, uh... I'm sorry. <laughs> Is that the, the cat lady? looks suspicious. Best mud cookies you've ever had. Welcome to Feathers and Things. How oh, can I help you? Looking for nose hairs? <laughs> no, not the ogre ones. Sure, <laughs> just not the same thing over. It's so disrespectful. Well, that's so like a cat, though. Just <laughs> knocking stuff off the shelf. Fireworks. Whoa, a festival. Uh, not a festival? Danger! Or not. Dude, Jabber Walker. Oh no, not the cat! No! Please! We need those leprechaun nose hairs! No time! Ooh, cat kept hold of it. Here, I'll give you this. It, it carries the mother's promise. Oh, she's always had that. Ooh, the cat looks surprised by that. Interested. This is exceedingly bad. Wait. Oh, he's glitching out too. It's a truly terrible creature. If the Jabberwalker eats one of us, we do not ascend. <gasps> oh, that's what he meant by before they actually die. If the Jabberwalker eats here. them. But be careful. Eat too much and we'll have to shrink you back again. And that's a completely oh. different potion. Yeah, well, I mean, them being extra big might be useful at the moment. Okay, here we go, yeah. It wasn't enough. We'll eat a little more then. Ah! Oh, we just bitch slapped the hell out of him. No! Oh no! Oh, he's gonna grow. No! Is he? Yep. Oh, you just need to get it on you when you start growing. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, that's a problem. Devour. Oh my god. Way to go, Bunker! I gave him something new to do for the moment. Now go. Your friends need to get big again, or we're Jabberwalker dinner. You can tell you can give new things for the Okay, because the bird's having stuff coming out of his eyes, so I guess the, the cat made the bird a fighter. 
Is it the night? The rusty night! That's John. Yeah, let's go! He's riding a jackalope! It's the rusted night! Get the parfait! Yeah, hurry up! Woohoo! Alright! Oh, it's on! Ruby, follow me. <laughs> Stay. That's what you thought. It's John. It has to be. He recognizes them, right? Oh! Okay, what? It disappeared? Neo? Oh, it was an illusion! It was one of Neo's illusions! Oh, there's the other one. Yeah, the cat looks genuinely freaked. Oh, shoot! Unfortunately, uh... Her illusions can do real damage. This way. Okay, yeah, but you want a jackalope. You're faster. Ruby, come on. It, Go. Is she bigger? We'll them off. Okay. Are you gonna? Oh. Oh no. Oh, the bird didn't make it. Oh. So the bird really dies then. Is this sword broken? I just realized that. Oh, evacuate! <laughs> oh. oh, she's having flashbacks to Atlas and when everyone had to run from the city and evacuate. I'm so tired of leaving places in ashes. Yeah. Yeah, his sword is broken. That shield looks awful familiar, though. I can't believe it. The rusted knight. In person. <laughs> She's having a fangirl moment. You did good, Juniper. <gasps> Juniper? It is it! Oh, you've been around a while! You finally made it. You finally made Hold up! You finally made it? How long have you been waiting? Holy crap! Oh my god! Look how long his hair is and the beard and the eyes! Oh, he looks so tired, dude! Your bags are giving mine a run for their money! Oh my god, how many years has he been there? So time is weird here. And he named the jackalope Juniper after his team. Oh. Yeah, this design is so cool. The pagoda-like lily pad, lily flower. Blacksmith, okay. Kimlin Tran, Kimlin Tran. The voice sounded familiar. Okay, I might I might recognize her voice from a few different anime parts. Toradra, I've seen K on season two. I've seen Attack on Titan abridged. She was Mikasa. Okay, so I'm wondering a, a little bit if the blacksmith is. You know, my my idea is that there is a a god that has created this world or a godlike entity. What if that is the blacksmith? You know, that would make sense. She is literally. A, a creator, a blacksmith making things, and she's like a machine. She's mechanical, so it would make sense that her creations have an emphasis on purpose and function. And it would also make a lot more sense about why she just appeared to Ruby and only Ruby and, well, and to Little as well. Little saw her. Maybe that's because Little is trying to discover their purpose which I, I bet is going to be to be a guide. I think L Little's going to become, that's going to be their purpose. They're going to become a guide. So now I'm wondering, has he been the Rusted Knight this whole time? Was he the Rusted Knight that Alex met? 
Or did he take over the position from the last rusted knight? Did he inherit this position or has he just been there? I'm also kind of wondering if maybe Jean had some part in choosing to go back in time because like when he got there, he had to have been seriously traumatized just like Ruby because he is the one that had to kill Penny. So maybe he got there and he met with, maybe it was the blacksmith, and she gave him a choice to set down this burden and become something else. Or maybe he met the caterpillar and wanted to become a different version of himself. When he fell down there, was time just automatically wonky and send him far back? Or did he have some part in choosing that? And then, then the question remains, is he going to go back with them to Remnant? Because he's been there so long. He's been the rusted knight for so long. Maybe because he feels like in here in this place, he can actually protect people. Whereas in Remnant, he maybe he feels that he couldn't. So will he want to go back? Okay, and we did see uh, Neo's ability. She is using the Jabberwalker to attack Ruby and friends. I'm assuming that's why she attacked the the garden, the marketplace, because what, you know, she must have seen Ruby and her team there, or else why would she attack the place? So I'm assuming that she was around somewhere. Maybe she's spying on them from a distance. I don't know. We'll see. She hasn't revealed herself yet. And once again, Ruby is, she's having her own internal problems, kind of being shoved into her face like you gotta look at this you gotta think about this she said like ah eh, i can handle it but she's not handling it so once again ruby has been tempted with this option of letting go of all this responsibility and once again the cat interrupted right then i don't think he meant to this time because he was like you know who are you talking to but the pattern is noted but that's going to do it for this reaction. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and a comment down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye!